everybody, welcome to Franny's Hair. Today I'm going to be showing you some John Renault wigs, so stay tuned. Okay, so before I get started, I just want to let you know that we are currently having a John Renault sale this weekend. 30% off of all John Renault styles. You don't need a special discount code. It's already on sale over at Franny'sHair.com. I'll have links in the description below to all the wigs I'm showing you and to the John Renault collection. The sale is good through the end of this weekend. I will have the sale prices up on the screen for each of the wigs I show you. And if you're watching this video after the weekend's over, the prices will have changed, so just know that. The second thing I wanted to mention is that V, my resident stylist, is going to be having a Wigs 101 class for beginners to the wig wearing process. She'll take you through measuring your head, choosing colors, choosing styles, all different things that you need to know when you're getting your first wig. That class is going to be Saturday, April 13th, and it's $25 per ticket. She's going to limit the class to 10 to 12 people. We do already have some people signed up. There are some seats left, so if you want to come for that class, I will have a link in the description below that will take you over to the ticket you can purchase. I'll be popping in in the beginning of the class to say hello to everybody. It's going to be a great class, jam-packed with really good information. Okay, so let's start talking about the John Renault wigs I'm going to be showing you today. I'm going to be showing you three wigs that I haven't shown before and I'll be doing full reviews on those wigs. I also pulled my three John Renault wigs out of my closet to show you and I have done full reviews on those before but I just wanted to show you those in case you haven't seen them and you're looking to get something during this sale. So I will show you those. It won't be a full review on those but I will link in the description below to the other reviews that I've done of those wigs. Another thing I wanted to mention about Frenny'sHair.com is we try to make shopping as easy for you as possible. So in most cases, if I've done a review for a wig, on that product page you will see the video if you just scroll down a little bit and you can take a look at my review of the wig. Okay, so let's get started talking about these John Renault wigs. All right, if you haven't guessed already what this wig is, this is the iconic classic from John Renault. It's called Ignite, and the color is Shaded Mocha. This one is right out of my closet, and I did do a review on it before, but I'm just going to show it to you briefly. I'll spin for you, show you the style. I love this style. Got the nice stacked back here. This style has a lace front that goes further back. Let's see if I can show you the lace front here. So if I wanted to part it somewhere else, in the front you have pretty far lace. And I'll show you the cap for this so that you can see that. There's no monofilament. So the rest of it is your basic cap. And you'll see that when I show you the cap. I have a 21 and a half inch circumference. My face is eight and a half inches from forehead to chin. Ear to ear, I'm 11 and a half inches. Forehead to nape, I am 12 and a half inches. And if you need to know how to measure your head correctly, you can come to Wigs 101. Also, you can head over to the size chart on Franny'sHair.com, and I have a video there showing you how to measure your head accurately. And a lot of people write to me and say, I have a circumference of this. Will this fit me? Circumference is important, but so are ear to ear and forehead to nape measurements. Because if you think about it, your ear to ear measurement tells you how big your head is this way. If you have a small head this way, you might have some room in your wig. If you have a larger head, it might be tighter. And same with this measurement as well. So you really want to know all of your measurements. Now Ignite is heat friendly, so you can style her. And I'm going to just give you the measurements. The crown is 5.75 inches. The sides 5.25, the nape 1.5, the bang 8 inches, hmm, that seems a little bit longer since I'm 8.5 inches, but it says 8 inches. Could be that over time I've had this and I've worn it a lot, maybe I stretched it out or something, I don't know if you can actually do that, but it does seem more like 8.5 to me there. Maybe there's a shorter piece on this side, let me take a look. 
Seems about the same. Uh, and she weighs 2.7 ounces. As far as density goes, she's medium density. She definitely has permatease. That's what gives it the beautiful shape here and hides the wefting. Okay, I'm going to take this color outside for you so you can see the shaded mocha. I think this is a beautiful color. Actually, let me read you the description of shaded mocha first. And if you haven't been to our color charts on franniesHair.com, you have to take a look. We keep improving the color charts because we know choosing a color online is one of the most difficult things you can do. Uh, so once you find a color you like, you can actually go to that color in one of our color charts and you can click on it and it'll bring up every wig that comes in that color. So uh, some pretty neat things happening over there. Make sure you check it out. Okay, Shaded Mocha is described as a medium natural ash blonde and light neutral gold blonde blend shaded with a medium brown. So you can see that there, the medium brown and the rooting, and it does carry through. I would definitely consider this a warmer color, even though it says it has the ash blonde in it. To me, this rings warm. And I know people said that they really liked knowing if a wig is warm or cool in color. So I would definitely say that this one is warm. I'm going to take her outside for you so you can see this color outside in natural light. Okay, so here we go. This is the shaded mocha. You can see that brown shading, medium brown there, and the gold color, and it does have some ash, I think you can see in it, but it's definitely a warm color. So hope you, hopefully you can see that. Okay, so let's take a look at the cap. Oh, by the way, if you haven't seen the hair grip, my new favorite wig grip, you got to check it out. I love this wig grip and I did a video on it, which I will put a link to here. So go check that out. Okay. So here you have the lace front that I was telling you about. It's wider here. So you can actually make your part appear anywhere here. And then the rest of this, there's no monofilament. You have the velvety ear tabs with the metal stays, the extended velvety nape with the Velcro adjusters. This fits me perfectly. This is mine. This is where I have it adjusted to for the 21 and a half inch circumference. So you can see you can go a little larger. This definitely would go to an average. And they do make Ignite in a large size if you have a larger size head. All right, so that is Ignite in Shaded Mocha. Okay, so something I'm gonna do a little bit differently in this video is I'm gonna take the wigs right out of the box and put them on so you can see how they look right out of the box. And then I will style them a little bit, or comb them, brush them, whatever. But I think one of the issues, especially with new wig wearers, is that you get a wig, you take it out of the box, you put it on your head, and you're like, oh my gosh, that's not what I saw in the review. Um, and I want you to see that what it is right out of the box is not going to usually be right for you. You're going to need to do something to it. So this is Carly in Malibu Blonde, and she has a beautiful hand-tied cap, which I'll be showing you. But I'm just going to put her on right out of the box, so she still has the factory part and everything. Okay. You can see that factory part there. Now, for the... Um, Metal stays. I noticed some people push the center of the metal stay in and the top and the bottom stick out to make it fit against their head. I do the opposite. I push the top and the bottom of the metal stay. I don't know if you can see this here. The top and the bottom against my head. So now I have two points rather than just one keeping it in place. So the metal stay, actually, this is exaggerated, but would be like a top and then come out and then at bottom pushed against. Okay, so this is it right out of the box. It's a pretty wig, uh, and you can see the part there. And I'll go over all the details about the wig. But the first thing I do, I'll be right back. Is I get the factory part out. I like to do that with a wig brush. This is a wig brush because I feel it does it better. And I just kind of hold on to the wig, lift those. And I know some people shake their wigs before they put them on. I always forget to, but I don't find that that matters. Okay, so that's what I've done to the part. And then I'll comb through with my wig comb. 
by the way, I'm doing a video on all of the products I use. And over at FrannysHair.com, we've actually made kits of the products that I use because I'm not going to recommend things unless I know they work. <laughs> all right. Look at this. This is an adorable style. All right, I'm going to read to you about her. So the other day, <laughs> while I'm finding this, I'm just going to tell you about this. This is crazy. I was driving down the road, and I saw coming out of the woods, it looked like a mountain lion. I have no idea. This muscular, big cat that looked like it was prowling. And I told my neighbors, and they laughed at me. They thought I was nuts. I just got a text from my neighbor saying, Oh my gosh, I think I saw that thing that you saw coming out of the woods the other day. I have no idea what it is. Makes me a little nervous. Okay, so it says, Carly is simple and elegant. This commanding shoulder length bob creates the look of natural growth with a smart lace front and hand tied monofilament top and crown. So let's take a look at the lace front here. So you can see that sometimes I have a tendency to lift it off my head. So hopefully I'm not doing that. And hopefully it's in the right spot there. And you can see it is shoulder length. Let's look at the, it says 100% hand tied and I will check that for you. Some manufacturers, when they say 100% hand tied, there's still some closed wefting in the back, but I believe John Renault does do 100% hand tied. So we'll check when we look at the cap. This is not heat friendly. Uh, the crown is 13 and a half inches. The sides, 9.25 inches. The nape, six inches. The bang, 12.25 inches, and she weighs 3.6 ounces, and she feels low density. I don't feel any permatees, and with a hand-tied cap, you usually would not feel any permatees, and you don't need it here because you're not hiding wefting, and you don't want a lot of volume on the top with this style. I really like this style. You could put it behind your ear. How cute is that? All right, let me spin for you. I really like this. Now, this is not heat friendly, so it is a little on the shinier side. You can see that there, but there are many things you can do to bring down the shine, and the shine does come down naturally over time. The advantage of something that's not heat friendly is it tangles less, it takes less care, you don't have to use heat to keep it up. With a heat friendly wig, you do. There are pros and cons to each. As far as how the cap is fitting me, this is fitting me great with my 21 and a half inch circumference. I will check where the adjusters are when we take a look at the cap. Let's take a look at how the glasses fit. Oh, let's look at the ear tabs first while we're here. So the ear tabs come down to here on me. I do have a little space, so I anticipate that the glasses will fit under there. And as far as coverage, I think it looks pretty good there. You can still see some of my growth there. There you go. Here's the other side. Yeah, you can see a little bit of my growth there, but comes down pretty far. Nice coverage. All right. Glasses under the ear tabs. It does fit under the ear tab for me. I think I would be fine with that. I do feel it a tiny bit, though. Over the ear tabs, no problem whatsoever. That's probably how I would wear it. All right, let's take Malibu Blonde outside. Here you go, Malibu Blonde. I'm gonna to try to get it in all different lights. I'm just gonna spin around here so you can see that. I like it has this little wave here. Oh, I have to read you the description of this color. I didn't do that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Remember I told you my neighbor said he saw that same animal? I said, did you really? What is it? And he wrote back, is this it? And he sent me a picture of a squirrel. They always make fun of me because <laughs> I'm not real outdoors. <laughs> uh, do you, any of you have neighbors like that? Anyway, I forgot to read you the description of this color. This is Malibu Blonde. It's described as a light gold brown, light natural gold blonde, pale natural gold blonde blend, shaded with a light gold brown. So with all of that gold, you know that this is a warm color. You can tell that. 
And this would be a great style because you have the long front as well. You could do so many things, pull it back on both sides. And the fact that it's hand tied, which we'll take a look at, you won't have any wefts showing when you style your hair. Yeah, you could do so much with this. You could pull it back in a little ponytail. Really pretty. All right, so it has the lace front. I may have shown that to you already. And a monofilament top. So let me just show you. That's hand tied. So you can part it anywhere. All right, let's take a look at the cap. Okay. So you can see here, you have a temple to temple lace front that is pretty deep. And then the full monofilament top. You have the velvety ear tabs with the metal stays. It's not an extended nape, it's a regular nape. And Velcro adjusters. And this is 100% hand tied. You can see that there. You can see my hand through it. And the beauty of hand tied is that should the wind blow, there's no wefting to show. It'll look really natural. And also the way the uh, fibers are sewn in, it falls more naturally like real hair because a wefted piece, the fibers are sewn in rows and our hair is not in rows on our head. And so the way that it's sewn in when it's hand tied mimics the way your natural hair falls. So that's a beautiful cap. All right, that is Carly in Malibu Blonde. Okay, this is another one right from my closet. This is January in Toffee Truffle. If you've been on my private Facebook group, Franny's Hair, you've seen this. I've taken pictures in this. I love this wig. It's just an easy throw on and go style with beautiful waves. She has a lace front. Hopefully you can see that there, and a monofilament top so that you can part her anywhere. She's not heat friendly. Uh, I find these darker colors, even though they're not heat friendly, not as shiny as, say, a platinum blonde. A platinum blonde is going to give you the most shine, I think. All right, measurements, the crown 10 inches, the side 6.25, the nape 4.25, the bang eight and a half, that's right, and the weight 2.9 ounces, medium density, there may be some permatease in here. She's fitting me well, yes, yeah, fitting me well, I have no extra space up here or anything like that. Let me spin and show you the style. And I'll tell you about the color Toffee Truffle. It's described as a brown with a medium red gold, a medium red gold blonde blended with medium red gold blonde bold highlights. And you can see they are bolder highlights. All of those colors are warm colors. This is definitely a warm colored wig. I love this Toffee Truffle color. Isn't that pretty? All right, let me take her outside for you to see the color. Okay, here you go. This is the toffee truffle color. I'm just going to be turning here so you can see it. I love the highlights along the face there. Okay, so let's take a look at the cap. Every time I think, oh, I'll just... I've reviewed this wig before, so I won't show much about it. I figure I'm here already. I might as well show you. So anyway, it's almost a full review. I didn't put the glasses on. All right, so you have your extended lace front from ear tab to ear tab, full mono top, open wefting, extended nape, Velcro adjusters, and they're pretty much to the edges. There's a little bit room to go bigger. This would definitely fit an average size head. It has stretch in it as well. And there are the velvety ear tabs with the metal stays. So that is January. Oh, and by the way, January does come in petite as well. And the color is toffee truffle. Okay, next is Eve in shaded praline. This looks like a nice style. This is right out of the box. Pushing my ear tabs. 
The metal stays in at the top and bottom to fit my head. So this is how it comes out of the box, just so you see it. I'll do my brush along the part here. I think there's a lot of misconceptions about using a brush. Some people are like, oh my gosh, you can't use a brush. This is made especially for wigs. I usually only use it around the part area, and then I will use a comb on the rest of the wig. When we were taking our class with our, the designer from uh, Noriko, he said, yeah, you can use a brush. He uses a brush all the time. So if you're under the impression that you can't, make sure it's a wig brush. You definitely can. And he used it in his styling when he was showing us how to do different things. I love taking those classes because I learn so much and I can bring it back to you. This is a very cute style. I could totally see myself wearing this one. I might keep this one. There's always at least one. I say I might keep this one. I really do like this. All right, let's take a look. Oh, and this is in the color Shaded Praline. I don't know if I told you that. So let's take a look at the style description. Okay, Eve is described as gracefully chic while in your face edgy. This asymmetrical stacked bob has it all. Heat stylable, so it's heat friendly, and a discreet lace front and an invisible monofilament cap. So this is right up my alley. It says asymmetrical, yes, this side is longer. You can see that there, and it has a stacked back. I'm going to just spin for you and then we'll talk measurements. This might be a keeper for me. I like these shorter napes too. I don't worry about it getting as tangled, especially with heat friendly. Really pretty. This could be like a grown out Ignite, maybe a sister wig for Ignite. Okay, the measurements. The crown is seven inches. The sides, five and a half to 7.25 inches. The nape, two inches. The bang, six and a half inches. Yeah, I would say that's right. And she weighs three ounces. Very lightweight, low density. Don't feel any permatease in that monofilament top. I don't think I even feel any down here. Wow, this is really nice. So where Ignite has all that volume and the permatees up there, this does not. So if you don't like permatees, but you like that Ignite edgy style, this could be a good one for you. All right, let's talk about Shaded Praline. All right, Shaded Praline is a light gold blonde and pale natural blonde blend shaded with dark brown. So this one actually is cooler than the other wigs I've been showing you, but it still does have the gold in it. I would say this is more of a neutral. This could go either way. You can see some of the really light ashy colors and some of the gold in there. As far as how this is fitting me, this is fitting me really well. We'll take a look at where the adjusters are. And this one only comes in an average size. Let's try on the glasses. Oh, let's take a look at the ear tabs. The ear tabs come down to right about here. Remember, I have 11 and a half inch ear to ear measurement. There is some space there. So if you have a bigger measurement there, the ear tab would probably be shorter on you. I like my ear tabs to come pretty close to my ear here and as much forward as possible because I do have a lot of growth there. I have good coverage on this. That's great. All right, let's try the glasses on under the ear tabs. I feel it. It's not that bad. I think I could wear it there. Over the ear tabs, no problem. This would be the easiest for me. All right, let's take a look at her outside. Okay, here we go. This is shaded praline outside. So you can see those cooler tones and the warmer tones and the brown in there. Yeah, I would definitely say this is neutral. This could go for a lot of people. I keep waiting for that thing to come out of the woods. <laughs> this one could be really cute just behind your ear. You could do two barrettes. That would be cute too. You could do a headband, even just your glasses, your sunglasses, if you wanted something like that. Really adorable. All right, let's take a look at the cap. 
Okay, so you have an extended lace front, ear tab to ear tab, monofilament top. I didn't show you those while it was on, did I? I'll do that. Open wefting, velvety ear tab with the metal stays, uh, velvety extended nape with the Velcro adjusters, and they're pretty much all the way out. It fit me comfortably. There is some stretch. I would say this would go to an average, but I don't know that it would go much larger than that. Let me put this back on to show you the lace front and the monofilament top while it's on my head. Okay, so hopefully I have it in the right spot, but there's the lace front and the monofilament top. You can see if I lift there, you can part it anywhere you like. Okay, that's Eve in Shaded Praline. Okay, this next one, also if you're in my private Facebook group, Franny's Hair, you've seen this. This is Julianne Light, and she has a beautiful cap, very comfortable, very lightweight. You can barely feel her on your head. She's in the color Shaded Peach. I'll read to you about her style. Julianne's effortless beach waves and celebrated asymmetrical style. It's shorter in the back and longer in this front there. It's not different lengths on the front. Is now also available in the most innovative smart lace light cap. So the difference between this and the regular Julianne, and this one, by the way, the Julianne light does come in petite also. But the difference between this and the regular Julianne is the cap. So, Julianne Light is a light hair density wig with a lightweight cap that features a nearly invisible ear-to-ear -ear lace front. So it comes all the way around the ear, and I'll show you that. And I actually had to trim the lace. For me, the lace was a little bit big on this one, meaning that it extended farther forward. That's hard to say. <laughs> meaning that it extended forward too much for me. So I trimmed it a little bit, and you'll see that when I show you the cap. The hand-tied mono top provides multi-directional parting, and the polyurethane ear tabs allow for the use of adhesive for those wanting extra security. So let me first show you the lace front here, so you can see how that's done. And you can part it anywhere. Let me just show you that. Hopefully you can see that. And let me tell you, she's 100% hand-tied. Let me tell you her measurements. The crown, 12 inches. The sides, 9 inches. The nape, 6 inches. The bang, 10 inches. She's 3.1 ounces. That's amazing for this much hair. And she really is that light. Okay, so let me spin and show you the style. So I don't know if you noticed, but I've been filming in my living room, and the reason is I'm really affected by my environment, and I find this to be warm and cozy, and I, my studio just wasn't doing it for me, but it's tough for me to be here when my husband's home because he wants to do some stuff in the kitchen, and I'm like, shh, shh, shh. So I'm going to be redoing the studio. I'm really looking forward to doing that, and then I'll be back up there filming. All right. Why did I mention that? Oh, I know, because I was thinking I really should have something in front of me where I go through each wig in the same order, showing you the same things about it. Uh, so when I have my studio, I will have that. All right, the color, shaded peach. Sometimes I just think out loud. I talk to myself all the time, and my husband's like, what? I was like, oh no, I'm just talking to myself. <laughs> I can keep myself entertained for a while. All right, Shaded Peach is a medium natural red and medium red gold blonde blend shaded with dark brown. So you can see the dark brown there. Again, another warm color. Most of these today are warm. I will do cool colors also in the future. I try to get all different colors, all different styles for you. And if there's anything you really want to see, put them in the comments below. I will make sure to get them to show them to you. It may not be right away. It depends on how our orders go and all of that, but just know I do put them on a list and I will be doing what you want to see. All right, so let's take a look at the ear tabs here so you can see that there. 
So you can see the lace comes all the way around. And for me, I didn't love that because my hair grows forward so much. If you're somebody who doesn't have hair there, that could be great because the lace makes it look like the hair is growing out of your head. But when the lace covers some of your own hair, that's not so great. All right, so you have the ear tab coming down this far. There, hopefully you can see, and the coverage. Somehow I can see this side better. You can see my hair here. The gray is me. <laughs> All right. Now I'll try on the glasses. I could wear it under the ear tabs. I had room there. And definitely over the ear tabs, no problem. All right, let's take a look at the shaded peach outside. Okay, here we go, shaded peach. How pretty is this color? If you're looking for a red that's a natural red with some brunette mixed in, I love this. This style's really great with your wave if you pulled back some of your hair. That'd be really pretty. You could pull it back in a ponytail. Even do a little bun at the bottom here. All right. And if I did the bun at the bottom like that, let me just do that again. I'd probably pull a few little tendrils out like that. That'd be cute. All right, now let's take a look at the cap. And I did say, I think, that this does come in petite. Okay, so here we go. You have the lace front, and it goes all the way around that ear tab. You can see that there, all the way around. So this might have even been folded in when I had it on. I, I, it looks like it's folding up a little bit. Uh, you can see here that I cut it, and I always cut unevenly because if you cut a straight line, that's easier to see. If you cut a jagged line that's not as easy to see. You have the polyurethane ear tabs here that you can use the adhesive on. You also have some back here with your nape. It's an extended nape. Velcro adjusters, that's where they're adjusted for me. It fits me perfectly. So you can go larger. Would definitely fit an average size head. And there's stretch in this. You can see that. And it's all hand tied, 100% hand tied. I love the hand tied caps. I just feel if the wind blows, I'm not worried. If I put it up, I'm not going to see a weft somewhere, and the hair falls more naturally. Okay, so that's Julian Light in Shaded Peach. Okay, in an effort to bring you all colors, this is 1B. I don't know if I've ever tried on a black, but this is Zara in 1B, right out of the box. She's long and she's dark. So just keep in mind your own coloring and uh, what you're looking for. Whoa, <laughs> a lot of hair. See if you will. I have to really lean back for this. Okay, let me just, so this is right out of the box, as I said. I'm just gonna brush her part. I don't know if you're even gonna be able to see this on the camera here. Hopefully I have the lace in the right spot. It's hard for me to see anything. I'm gonna just come through. Wow, this is a lot of hair. Lengthwise, I mean. I'll stand up and show you how far down this goes. Let's see if I can back up. <laughs> now that's long hair. Okay. I'm going to read to you her description. With the long hair, you could do so much with styling. Like you could really get a French twist or something like that. All right. Let's read about Zara. Okay. Zara comes only in average, and she's described as... A chic, stylish, long-layered wig that allows endless styling options, which is what I was just saying. You could do so much with this length hair. As it combines the light, comfort, and natural-looking growth of our mono top, along with our exclusive smart lace technology, 
which offers the most natural hairline available. No tape or glue needed. So here's the hairline. Hopefully you can see it there, the lace front. And uh, oh, let me get closer there. Hopefully you can see that. Hopefully I have it in the right spot. And then it has a monofilament top. So you can part it anywhere. This is going to be a long one to part anywhere. Hopefully I can... Hopefully you can see that. I don't know if I'm showing it well or not because I cannot see anything in here. <laughs> oh, you get the picture. Um, she's not heat friendly. Let's do her measurements. Her measurements, the crown is 17 inches. I don't know if you can see that. The sides, 16 and a half inches. The nape, 15 and a half inches, the bang, 11 and a half inches, and she weighs 4.9 ounces, which is not heavy for this much hair. That is not heavy at all for this much hair, and in fact, she doesn't feel heavy. I would say medium density, and I do think there's some permatease in here to hide some wefting. Uh, let's talk about the color, 1B. It should be black. 1B is called Hot Fudge, and it's described as a soft black. All right, I'm going to spin for you. Hopefully you can see all this. I'll just try to keep lifting. Okay, and let's take a look at the ear tabs. Hopefully you can see those there. Comes down to about here. So right above my ear. Keeping in mind I have an 11 and a half inch measurement ear to ear. I'm tongue tied today. Okay, so you can see it comes right to there, which is really nice. Good coverage. I'll try the glasses on with it. Okay, under the ear tabs. I'd probably be fine. Over the ear tabs, definitely fine. And let's take this 1B outside. Okay, here you go. This is 1B, what they call soft black. I didn't do a great job of brushing that part, as you can see. I am not used to working with such long hair. I would definitely have to be in front of a mirror and working with it. Okay, let's take a look at her cap. Okay, she has a temple to temple lace front, monofilament top, open wefting, velvety ear tabs with the metal stays, extended velvety nape with the Velcro adjusters, and they are adjusted in somewhat. This would definitely fit an average, probably even a slightly bigger than average head. Okay, so that is Zara. <laughs> I have to go like this. Zara in 1B. Okay, you guys know me by now. I always end with my favorite from the show. This is Eve in Shaded Praline. I think I'm going to be keeping this little lady. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. Please stop over at franniesHair.com. Check out our sale on John Renault, and we also have other sales going on as well. If you have any questions at all, please put them in the comments below. I'll get back to you as quickly as I can. You can also, over at franniesHair.com, go to the contact at the top of the menu there on the right-hand side. If you click on that and type a question in, we will get back to you as quickly as we can. And of course, you can catch me over at my private Facebook group, Franny's Hair. I'll have a link to that in the description below. Don't forget V's Wigs 101 class coming up next week. Come join us. I think it's going to be a lot of fun and you're going to learn a lot of really great information. And as always, thank you so much for joining me. I truly appreciate it. Remember to make it your own, and I'll see you soon.